you've written that patriarchy isn't the only reason or even the main reason for partner abuse. Could you talk about that? Yeah, yeah, I think that that is uh, an old idea that it's just hanging around way too long. This, uh, I, you know, I think when we go back in time or we have, if we look at countries that have a very strong pat patriarchal system, that is certainly a factor in, in abuse in relationships. But when I was, you know, trying to come up with, you know, what do, actually creating a list of reasons why people might abuse their partner. Um, I came up with 72 reasons. And I, and I talk about each one of them gets a, at least a page in, in my book. Um, so there could be mental illnesses, so it could be narcissism, it could be borderline personality disorder. We, say, we see that a lot um, in, in practice. Um, could be other mental illnesses or personality disorders. I see anxiety often drives controlling, demanding behavior that is abusive. Um, it could be that somebody is raised in an abusive household, so that's modeled for them and they, and they utilize those same techniques. It could be the opposite. It could be somebody was actually pedestalized as a child. So somebody who's treated as um, a princess or, um, you know, the, it could be the head of the football team, you know, the football star in high school. They, they get this ego that turns into uh, abusiveness, potentially. Um, again, controlling, demanding behaviors. Ab abuse is controlling, punishing, or demeaning. That's, that's, the, that's the drivers behind um, abusive behaviors and attitudes. So there's a lot of different reasons why people, you know, another one that comes to substance abuse can it often be a factor in it as well. So there's some of the, besides patriarchy, which I think it really skews the whole discussion as if, um, as, as if it can only happen, you know, when you use that as your, as your central premise for partner abuse, well, then it can only happen in one configuration. 